Hey there everybody, it's Rush from Path Lost Pell and today we've got a very special episode. Uh, we're here with Topper and we're not drinking yet. <laughs> but what's going on? Uh, we're gonna take Daniel. That's over there. Tumbleweed and a bunch of our friends that also usually go bikepacking with us. Bikepacking. <laughs> is, that, is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go up to the rattlesnake. And uh, this is our special guest for the trip, Daniel. Hi. Uh, <laughs> nice bike, what's, what's that about? <laughs> My prospector do-it-all fishing and camping bike. Cool. And you'll meet everyone. You guys know Ali, that's Daniel, uh, Lori, Sarah, Becca. Um, Hi, Internet! And yeah. Who's that? <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> cool. So what's cool is everyone's loaded up on different bikes, and we're going to head out uh, to the Rattlesnake, get our bike camping on, and yeah, it'll be fun. Let's go. I like your uh, bear spray there for quick access. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just like get it off really fast. Wait, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, everything is fine. <laughs> well, we'll just hope it's a slow bear. <laughs> <laughs> your basket uh, the baskets were inside man <laughs> you can fit three pounds of peanuts in it <laughs> I'm not joking it's three pounds of peanuts <laughs> is it really <laughs> why so many peanuts <laughs> I like peanuts what can I say snacks, snacks. <laughs> so we're approaching the trailhead and entering the what's known locally as a rattlesnake what do you think of the ride so far? That's beautiful. <laughs> this is great. So cool that it's so close to town. Yeah. I think it's better. Yeah, it's great. Total distance from uh, our apartment is about five miles to the campground. So it's pretty awesome. have not gone bike packing with these bikes uh, just training on dirty Kanza so it's a nice change it is testing out all the uh, the Ortlieb gear for this uh, upcoming trip working pretty great this is Toffer and his Sklar how's it ride oh it's awesome like it's fun overkill for this because you can just ride over everything <laughs> and you can't maybe tell riding it but this is slightly uphill, <laughs> so in the morning, coming back down, having like three inch tires and suspension, you just get to fly, so. <laughs> All right, so we're pulling up to the campsite, a uh, pretty short ride, but uh, super scenic and right by the creek. Woohoo! Oh, at an undisclosed location in the rattlesnake. Nice. <laughs> nice. If you come here, we'll show you where, where we are. <laughs> but you have to bring bourbon. You have to bring bourbon. <laughs> Good bourbon. <laughs> so we're nerding out on uh, camping gear, and uh, Daniel brought a volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> my, my sleeping volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it? Uh, Hyper light. <laughs> Man My handle. ultimate <laughs> four. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a big guy. It's like 10 feet by 10 feet, but it only weighs like 1.3 pounds. Or wow. Something. So it's made from unicorn eyelashes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unicorn hair. <laughs> yeah. So this is Allie. She just got caught gramming. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that on the internet later. <laughs> water. My bike is a 1983 or 4 specialized thumb jumper. A classic bike, classic workhorse. Do they come with these bars? <laughs> no, those are, those are homage to Grant Peterson and his amazing uh, 
homemade uh, cloth bars. I see you got the, the Josh strap. <laughs> yeah, I'm a full ribbon belt set up. <laughs> oh, you weren't, you, weren't, you weren't kidding about the three pounds of peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> I never kid about peanuts. <laughs> this is Becca. Hi. So tell us about your tell us about your bike. Uh, my bike is a Fuji Touring bike. It's a 2013 edition. I got it for very cheap because it was old. <laughs> and it has bar end shifters and nobody likes those. <laughs> tell us about your bike. I have Salsa Fargo from two years ago. Well, a year and a half ago. And you just took it on the divide. And I just did the Great Divide, Banff to Whitefish. The main accessory is the burrito right there. <laughs> Usually my bear spray goes there, but I had to shift that for the burrito. Nice. Burrito packing. Yes. <laughs> Camping essentials. Hey, okay, here's the portable watercolor kit, palette, brush, sketchbook, paper towel. The light's fading fast, so I'm going to do a really quick value sketch rather than a full-on painting. There's the water there, colors. I'm going to do this really quick because the mosquitoes out are out. So uh, I'll just snap to the actual finished picture. Here's the picture. I uh, finished it up. Took about 15-20 minutes I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes here. So trying to do it on the quick side. Can't get super detailed with the colors, but tr just trying to get the light and dark right. I think this is the only one I'm going to do because I'm getting eaten live. But uh, let's see what the group is up to. Allie's eating peanuts. <laughs> oh yeah. Thanks, Dan. Not for the peanuts. <laughs> What's in the flask? I don't know. What did we put in here? What you can't tell? With your, <laughs> with your, with your, I can tell it's yummy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just just like feel it. Just it's, feel it. It, it feels like written house. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm losing light. I think I'm gonna end this part of the video here, and we'll see you guys in the morning. This morning, just got up. Everyone's breaking down their gear. A bunch of people still have to go to work in the morning. I think we're gonna break down the tent and hopefully do a little fishing. Can you walk us through uh, breakfast? <laughs> breakfast. Ta-da! <laughs> Much preparation went into breakfast this morning. Um, last night when we called and ordered the pizza. <laughs> wrapped it up. That's some uh, next level ultralight bikepacking tips. <laughs> yes, it's uh, going above and beyond uh, burrito packing. Thin crest, more arrow, <laughs> save the grams. <laughs> Alright, well it looks like most of uh, everyone is heading back to work, grabbing some burritos. I think Daniel and I are going to ride further into the rouse snake and hopefully catch some fish. Break a leg. Oh. All that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll see that to me. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Alright, so we're all packed up and uh, time to go fishing. We have to ride up about three more miles before we're legally allowed to fish. So we're gonna do that and hopefully uh, get something on the line. <laughs> Let's uh, go up like maybe 100 feet and see if there's any other trails that go down. Yeah. Alright, so we're all uh, rigged up. We're going to try to catch some fish. And what are you fishing, uh, what are you fishing with today? Uh, this is my Orvis Frequent Flyer Rod. It's like a seven piece rod. It packs down super short so I can fit it in the frame bag. It's a five weight, eight and a half foot. So yeah, it's a good, good little setup. Alright, we're going to hit the trail. We find a way down to the water and get some fish. All right, we're in. There you go. There's gotta be, oh, 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 oh nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Oh, man, that's probably a uh, 12. Yeah, it's a good size. Size of a baby arm. <laughs> Looks like a brown. Oh, oh shh. Dang. You want me to net him? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Oh. Oh. Damn. Nice. <laughs> I need my camera for this. Okay, that's the size of someone's arm. <laughs> man. <laughs> It's probably 13, 14. He's a, yeah, he's a big one. There we go. All right, time let him go. 
Woo, All right. Man, that was great. Nice, man. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that was unexpected. I didn't think that big guy would be in that little tiny pool there. Yeah, for that sure. That was a good call. Yeah. <laughs> All right, got a fish on the dry. Woo. He's heavy. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> that was a heavy fish. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that was such a good fish. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, small guy. Just working our way up and down this little stretch. I got a couple of small ones on and it's pretty awesome. It's cool that this is so close to town. You actually have to walk or bike to uh, get up here. So just wrapped up fishing this stretch. Uh, did pretty good. Got a couple fish on some rises. Daniel got a, a really nice cutthroat. Uh, I don't know, what do you think of the experience? <laughs> it was, that's a beautiful little section of river. I mean, just those first couple casts, we hooked in some pretty decent fish and um, kind of slowed down after that, but just, Beautiful, beautiful spot on the river. Yeah. So what do you think of this whole bike fishing thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been bike fishing since 2008, so I'm a big fan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's great. I think it's the best way to get off the beaten path and find little little spots that you wouldn't normally see, a, you know, from a car. So, yeah, yeah big yeah. fan. Nice. I think that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, like, share, subscribe. And of course, until next time, keep the supple side down.